The Diamond Casino heist still stands as one of the best ways to make money in GTA Online. Although it got outdone when the Cape Rico heist was released, it still can make you a lot of money. The arcade is an excellent business for more than just a heist. Therefore, in this video, I am going to go through how you can make millions of dollars by using the arcade. To start off, we need to buy an arcade. And to buy it, you have to go onto the Maze Bank for Closures website. But first, you will have to speak to Lester about the Diamond in casino heist to speak to him go to this green age beside the downtown cab code taxi activity besides the casino after you have gone here there should be a green l popping up on your map right under where you just went it's right by this little lake or whatever you go there and you speak with him after you have spoken to him that is when you can buy an arcade on the maze bank for closures website there are five different locations for the arcade the locations are 8-bit in vinewood video geddon in in La Mesa, Insert Coin in Rockford Hills, Warehouse in Davis, Wonder Rama in Grapeseed, and Pixel Pete in Palito Bay. The only two locations you want to even consider are 8-Bit Vinewood and Video Get in La Mesa. Do not buy any of the other locations. They are not worth it at all. Just save up to buy one of these two locations instead. These are much closer to the casino than all the other locations, and this will play a big part when you start doing this heist repair repeatedly and grinding money but i just have to stress this whatever you do do not buy the Palito Bay location. That location is extremely bad and it will only slow you down massively and in the long run lose you a lot of money. Save up a bit more and buy either La Mesa or the Vinewood location. For customization on your arcade, basically all the things here are cosmetics. You don't need them at all. You can of course buy them if you want, but I recommend saving your money so you can upgrade the actual arcade later on. I'll speak about that a bit later. Right, so now you you got your brand new arcade bot but what are actually the ways to earn money with it well there are a few the first way is with the safe this is pretty simple you earn a certain amount of money every 48 minutes from your actual arcade which gets put in your safe which you can then take the amount of money that gets put in depends on how many arcade games you have if you have bought them all then you will get the max amount of money you can get every 48 minutes which is five thousand dollars which doesn't sound like a lot but this is completely completely passive when you've bought all the arcade games. Of course, there is a huge investment to buy all those games, but if you play a lot of GT Online, after a while you will be in 100% profit. This can just fill up in the background while you do other activities, it's basically free money at that point. The next way to make money, or not really, but make making money easier, is the master control terminal. You can think of the MCT as a central nerve center that controls your illegal operations, allowing you to buy supplies, sell stock, and much more. This is the list of businesses that the master control terminal lets you manage. Firstly, the nightclub, then the bunker, the vehicle cargo business, special cargo business, air freight cargo business, and MC businesses. I would definitely recommend to get the MCT because especially if you have all these businesses, it gets much easier to check on them or even buy supplies rather than going to every single one and wasting a lot of time. If you do the casino heist, then just go over to the MCT tea once in a while and check on your businesses if they're ready to sell sell them if they need to get more supplies buy supplies and so on it's really really easy to manage all your businesses while you do the casino heist so this i definitely recommend to get now the last and most obvious way to make money with the arcade is the casino heist with the casino heist you have three different approaches these are silent and sneaky the big con and aggressive the ones you want to do is silent and sneaky and the big con these you want to do back to back the reason for this is that these will earn you the most money and will also be the easiest. If you do these two approaches every time, you will have more time in the vault than if you did aggressive, meaning you will get more money for every heist you do. In Silent the Sneaky and the Big Con, you can also do it completely stealthy, meaning you never break stealth and you never get caught. In aggressive, you just walk in, start shooting, and it can go all go wrong, and you can also lose a lot of money if you get shot. Every time you get shot, you lose a bit of money. There is also 
easier preps to do than with aggressive. So therefore, only choose Silent the Sneaky and the Big Con. When you start your first Diamond Casino heist, Lester and the rest of the crew will basically go through it with you like it's your first baby steps. The first thing you want to do is scoping out the casino. With this mission, you want to figure out what your target is as well as finding points of interest and escape points. However, the two most important entrance points you need to scope out is the staff lobby and the security tunnel. Other than this, you really don't need anything else besides the mandatory scope out stuff of course. If you want to scope out all the points of interest and all the escape points etc, you can do that but for this guide we will only use the staff lobby and the security tunnel to get in and out. Also, you only need to do this once and you will have all of these points of interest and entrance points etc unlocked forever. Another thing is if you get cash in the vault you will want to restart. An easy way to do this is by calling Lester and cancelling the heist while you're still inside the casino and is about to leave the mission. This way you will finish the mission after you've cancelled the heist and when you then pay the startup fee again for the heist you will have a chance of getting some other main target without doing another mission. As you can see by my footage I got cash twice, so I had to do the mission again where I then got artwork. You want to get artwork or gold and of course diamonds if they are available. If you get cash, just do this method and restart until you get art or gold. As I said, you want to choose either Silent and Sneaky or the Big Con, whatever is available. You can run these back to back indefinitely, only thing is that they will be on hard mode. But this is actually good. The difficulty of the heist is almost the same and you also get more money. So you want to have it on hard mode. Now we move on to the second board which is the heist preps. For the Big Con, these are the preps you want to do. Do not do any of the non-mandatory preps besides the tier 2 security pass and the new scare exit gear. Though you want to do. The other optional preps you don't need since this approach is so easy that you don't need it. You also always want to do the group sex approach since that will make the heist the easiest it can be. You literally just walk in, take the loot and then walk out. For silent and sneaky, you do these preps. Again, do not do any of the non-mandatory preps besides the tier 2 security pass. You don't need any of the other stuff. If it is your first time doing the silent and sneaky approach, you may want to consider doing the dug and ship prep since that will make the heist easier since the guards won't have helmets on meaning you can actually shoot them in the head if you'd like. Without doing this prep there are some guards that you just cannot take out but to be fair you don't have to take them out either. Now we move on to the third board which is the finale board. For the finale there are only a few things to say. I will have a full walkthrough of both of these approaches at the end of this video so if you're looking for that make sure to stay around. When doing the silent and sneaky approach you want to infiltrate through the staff lobby and exit through the staff lobby. This is the easiest way to do it. You always want to choose the high level buyer since this will get you the most money. The only difference between the high level buyers and the other ones is that the lower level buyers are closer to you so you don't have to travel that far in the heist. But this really does not matter since we will use a helicopter to move around the map anyway. Also, do not buy the cleanup vehicle or the decoy. They are a big waste of money and are not necessary. When you're in the house doing the side of the sneaky approach, you want to take the daily vault twice once when you come in and once when you leave. It will respawn after you have entered the main vault so therefore you can take it twice. This will be an EC 100k ish boost that you get every time. When actually inside the main vault you want to organize who goes where. For example one person goes to the left of the vault and then the other one goes to the right and then you meet up in the middle and the end. After you've been to the main vault you then leave the casino remembering to take the daily vault once again and then make your way to the streets. Here you want to find a civilian vehicle to take. If your getaway vehicles are closed then you can take them too. Make your way over to the police station and crash your car right here and then walk up to the roof and take the helicopter. From there you want to fly over towards your destination and you will lose the cops on the way. Then when you get there enjoy the money. When doing the big con approach you do not want to take the daily vault at all. It's really not worth the hassle. Just go to your exit disguise and leave the casino. Again organize who goes where in the main vault and then when you leave the casino, do exactly the same that we did 
with the silent and sneaky approach, steal a car, and then go to the helicopter, and fly to your destination, and you're done. You should now have millions in the bank, and the ability to buy virtually whatever you'd like. But if you're still struggling with this heist, and you're looking for a walkthrough of each of these approaches, then click the approach you have on screen now. If they are not there, then I haven't made them yet. But I promise you, I'm working on it. Subscribing and leaving a like would also help me out greatly. God bless and thank you for watching. Yeah! <clears throat> yeah.